if we look at the balance mat here, and we can just look, imagine that this line here is the vertical balance line here. Uh, the horizontal balance line is coming across here from one foot to another. And what we have to do with the hands here is to make sure that we go over those points of balance, uh, whether it's to the back, to the front, uh, or whether it's to the side, we have to go over those points of balance. And that means that we have to use the hands in order to do it. Okay, so we're gonna go backwards here and forwards. And you can see that just by using the hands here, what we're doing is tipping the balance here and just rocking our partner's balance in the direction that we want to go. So now, as if I'm going to throw him to the back here, and here, as if I'm going to throw to the front. And it might be just a slight change here over uh, that um, horizontal and vertical balance line here. So I'm kind of using both by using the hands in order to do it. And of course, every technique changes direction and it's not always the Tayatoshi. So we haven't always got this lapel hand here. So it might be from this situation here where the hand takes a different hold. It might come over the top here to grip the jacket or it might be all the way over to grip the belt here uh, for massive surigoshi uh, movements, big hip movements. But again, really important, no matter what the grip on the lapel, this sleeve hand still has to work. And the kazushi is really important in order to start the whole movement off. So whether it comes off the lapel here uh, for the tayatoshi or off the lapel here, for Haragoshi, or it might be high lapel grip here or over the back here in order to get Uchimata situation, or it might be just the hips. But uh, what we are doing here is understanding uh, how to tip by using the hands here, and it might be uh, just Tsukuinagi, or Koshiguruma, just controlling the head with the, with the arm. Uh, but this hand here, the sleeve hand, still needs to be controlled. And it means that uh, sometimes my legs will be in between my opponent's legs, or if they're not in between, if I can't get in between, then it might mean that I go on the outside of the legs.